So 50 students were surveyed and asked if they were taking a social science, humanities, or natural science course the next quarter. And here are the survey results. And we're wondering how many students are only taking a social science class. Uh, because these 21 who are taking a social science class may have also been taking some others. So, uh, to work with this, let's bring in, again, a Venn diagram. This is going to help us, uh, picture what's going on. Uh, and we have sort of our universal set here, which we may or may not need to deal with, but go ahead and draw it in. So, let's start with the most specific piece of information here. So we know that three students were taking all three courses. So in our inner, middle intersection here, containing all three sets, we got three people. We also got seven outside of all three, um, sets, and so we'll go ahead and mark that in going to mark these off as I work with them. So now, seven students were taking a social science and a natural science class, which means those seven people would be in the intersection of the SS and NS sets here. Of those seven, three are taking all three, which leaves four students who were taking, uh, a social science and natural science, but not a humanities class. Now, 10 were taking a humanities and a natural science class, of which three are taking all three, so which leaves seven, uh, for this p part of the set. Uh, and then there were n nine taking social science and humanities, three of which are taking uh, all three, which leaves six for that portion of the set. Now, we can say, uh, we had 21 students taking a social science class. We have 6 and 4 is 10 is plus, uh, plus 3 more is 13 students here. So we got 13 students already accounted for. So 21 minus those 13 students leaves us with 8 students, uh, for this region here. And that lets us answer our question. There are 8 students taking only a social science class.